There is more fallout from the Brave Cave scandal tonight. It's now over an 11 year old boy allegedly sexually assaulted by a BRPD officer. Now the Brave Cave was a facility where officers were accused of unlawfully interrogating suspects. The first court hearing was at the 19th Judicial Court and NBC Local 33's Deshaun Johnson is in studio. She was inside that courtroom and has more for us. Deshaun. Good evening, uh, Renee and Jacob. They say a permanent restraining order against the officer is necessary. The family says the child knew this officer well because he saw him at school every day. In a prayer vigil today before a court hearing, some say this should lead districts to do more to protect kids. Not only do we not know whether this is the only child, the overwhelming odds are this isn't the only child. Leaders in the community have called upon further action in an investigation of an alleged sexual assault of an 11 year old boy following the Brave Cave scandal. I don't think that this 11 year old who again has gone through the rigor of a forensic interview should not be given the same rights as other victims in this parish and this country. On June 6th of last year, the Varnados say that Baton Rouge officers and SWAT members woke them up with a search warrant to search the house after reported gunfire in the area. They say officers took them to a secret facility used by the Street Crimes Unit, now known as the Brave Cave. There, they say three officers, including Joseph Carboni, sexually assaulted the boy and committed violence against the others. The person who actually assaulted him was his school resource officer. The family's attorney filed a lawsuit against Carboni on February 20th, leading to a temporary restraining order against him. Reverend Alexis Anderson is the community leader who says this isn't enough. There is a temporary restraining order that is already in place, but it needs to be permanent. The community is doing everything possible to bring justice to the Varnado family, and leaders like Anderson hope schools across the area will pay close attention especially when deciding who to bring in to protect kids. School boards, all of them, that have made the decision to put school resource officers into our schools near our children need to look at this case and decide if they have done any vetting on these folk. Our community cannot stand for that. Now, court proceedings will continue on April 16th to file for a permanent restraining order. We did reach out to BRPD about an hour ago for a comment, but they say they do not comment during an ongoing investigation. But we do know that Carboni has been permanently removed from the school. We'll keep you updated as the investigation continues. Live in studio, Deshaun Johnson, NBC Local 33 News. All right, DJ, thank you for that report tonight.